To explain how Viagra works once absorbed, we must first understand the anatomy of the penis and the natural erection process. The body of the penis contains three cylindrical masses of tissue. The lower mass is the corpus spongiosum. The two top masses are the corpora cavernosa, which function as one entity and constitute the bulk of the penis. An elastic fiber sheath called the tunica albuginea surrounds all three masses. A cross-section cut of each cylinder looks like a sponge because of the hollow lacunar spaces that fill with blood during an erection. Blood is supplied to the penis via the penile artery that splits into cavernosal arteries, which provide blood flow to each corpus cavernosum. The urethral artery provides blood to the corpus spongiosum. Hellicine arteries then carry blood throughout the three cylindrical masses. Blood drains from the penis via the superficial, deep dorsal, cavernosal, and cruel veins. Sympathetic nerve stimulation results in contraction of erectile tissue, which inhibits blood flow into the penis and causes the penis to become flaccid. Alternately, parasympathetic stimulation results in relaxation of erectile tissue, which allows the lacunar spaces to fill with blood, resulting in an erection. The erection process begins when the brain processes various types of stimuli that are sent down the spinal cord to the sacral plexus, which communicates with penile parasympathetic nerves to release acetylcholine. Acetylcholine causes endothelial cells within erectile tissue to release nitric oxide, the key messenger in initiating and maintaining an erection. Nitric oxide stimulates guanylate cyclase to convert guanosine triphosphate to cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP decreases intracellular calcium stores within the cells of the corpora cavernosa, resulting in smooth muscle relaxation. As the erectile tissue relaxes, the lacunar spaces widen and become engorged with blood. As the tissue swells, it expands against the tunica albuginea, which presses against drainage venules, thus limiting blood flow out of the penis. As blood continues to flow into the penis, pressure increases, resulting in a rigid erection. An erection is essentially a vascular event that results from increased blood flow into the penis and reduced blood flow out of the penis. Many men with underlying cardiovascular diseases such as hypertension, heart disease, atherosclerosis, and kidney disease often report impaired erectile function. As part of the normal erection process, an enzyme in erectile tissue called phosphodiesterase type 5, or PDE5, breaks down cyclic GMP. As cyclic GMP decreases, calcium leaves its storage areas, causing smooth muscle contraction. As erectile tissue contracts, blood drains more easily from the penis, leaving it in a flaccid state. Viagra is a selective inhibitor of PDE5 and therefore promotes increased levels of nitric oxide and cyclic GMP. With heightened levels of cyclic GMP, smooth muscle relaxation is enhanced and thus the ability to achieve and maintain an erection. Viagra has no direct effect on the tissues and arteries in the penis and has no effect in the absence of sexual stimulation. Viagra has dramatically changed the ED market by offering patients with erectile dysfunction a consistently effective, non-invasive oral therapy.